fourth year, the American Revolution had become an international conflict. Rebelling American colonies and their French allies attempted to capture Savannah from the British in 1779. Asian soldiers of African descent were part of the Allied forces. Following the battle, many of these Haitians were diverted to other military duties, returning to their homes years later, if at all. Several veterans of the campaign became leaders of the movement that made Haiti the second nation in the Western Hemisphere to throw off the yoke of European colonialism. Un groupe de soldats nègres, environ 1500 venant d'Haïti, connu sous le nom de « les chasseurs volontaires de Saint-Domingue », ont combattu, en 1779, à la bataille de Savannah, en Georgie. Ayant conduit à l'indépendance des États-Unis d'Amérique. En fait, un monument souvenir a été érigé à Savannah, Georgie, aux États-Unis pour honorer ces soldats. bit of history coming to life in Savannah today. After nine long years, the people of Haiti will get the recognition they deserve. And a monument in Franklin Square is finally complete. And today, everyone got to see it. Our Justin Burroughs shows us why this sculpture is so significant. It took nine years to complete the Haitian monument in Franklin Square, but it took 230 years for the people of Haiti to receive the proper recognition for their role in the Revolutionary War. The best moment in my life. This recognition is, uh, is a reward for all Haitians. So, and, uh, whether they're in the U.S. or in Haiti. The monument was originally unveiled unfinished with only four statues in 2007. But thanks to a single donor, the sculpture was recently completed and presented on Saturday with all six bronze statues. Oh, you're not going to find a monument dedicated to the Haitians anywhere else in the United States. The monument represents the role that more than 500 Haitian volunteers played in the 1779 Battle of Savannah. A significant moment in the Revolutionary War that, according to Fiume, has gone unnoticed. It was not for the Haitians that came to Savannah. And they, without that, there will be no America today. They were so important in, in the uh, revolution of this country. I mean, they, we could be speaking with an English, English accent if it wasn't for the Haitians. And according to Alderman Jones, we should all be proud of the sacrifices represented by this monument. They volunteered and came here, shared their blood and died for the freedom of the United States. It's a moment of pride for all of us. And I think every single Haitian I know are, are proud to be part of U.S. history. And now that history stands tall for all to see. In Savannah, Justin Burroughs, WTOC News. Well, that sculpture is estimated to have cost more than $800,000. of your independence and during my nation's revolutionary war more than 500 of your ancestors came from Haiti to my country and died in the fight to bring the United States to life. L'histoire a rapporté que quelques 200 ans ça à la veille de l'indépendance par nous et d'un bon mission bien révolutionnaire pays par eux. Plus passé 600 ans, 600 ans, 7 millions, vini dans le pays moins, et mourir pour les États-Unis de capable de vivre. Now, it is my turn to say, merci à Haïti. Merci. 